Taking early retirement benefits from the SSA is a bit like getting your dessert before dinner. Sure, it's sweet at first, but you might end up wishing you'd had more patience. Let's break it down. First, the early bird catches the worm, but in the case of Social Security, the early bird catches a smaller worm. If you start taking your benefits before your full retirement age, which, depending on your birth year, will be between 66 and 67, you're going to get a reduced benefit. For every year you jump the gun, you're looking at about a 6 to 8 percent decrease. Do this at 62, the earliest age you can take benefits, and you're looking at a haircut of about 30 percent compared to waiting until the full retirement age. Now, the counter-argument here is that some people need the income. That's totally reasonable. But if you can get by without that early tap into the system, it's generally a good call to wait. Second, longevity plays a big part in this decision. If you believe you're going to live to be 100 and do yoga at dawn every day, waiting to take your benefits might be the smarter play. The longer you wait, up until age 70, the larger your monthly checks will be. Wait until that golden age of 70, and you've maxed out your benefits, earning about 132% of the full value every month compared to taking them at your full retirement age. The catch? You've got to live long enough for that delayed gratification to pay off. But life is unpredictable. If your health isn't great, or your family has a history of checking out early, then grabbing Social Security early might make sense. After all, the program is there to provide support when you need it, not just to serve as a gamble on your own longevity. Third, work considerations. If you retire early but then decide to hop back into the workforce, your benefits could get dinged. Earn more than the yearly limit, $19,560 in 2023, and Social Security starts holding back $1 for every $2 you earn over that threshold. Once you hit the FRA, this limitation goes away, and you can earn Macklemore thrift shop levels of cash without affecting your benefits. So, is it always better to wait? Not necessarily. But whether you're soaking in the Portland rain or not, patience has its virtues. Consider your health, your other retirement funds, and the allure of those potentially beefier checks in your golden years. Like that famous Portland bookstore, it's a matter of browsing through your options and picking out what works best for your story. And remember, better is subjective. The best move is the one that aligns most closely with your personal needs and gives you peace of mind along with financial security. As for Portlanders like me, or anyone in a similar rainy cityscape, that peace of mind might mean having the freedom to enjoy those early retirement years taking long walks in the drizzle, sipping coffee, and reflecting on a life well lived.